if you really have something important to say, you should perhaps try to find the journal which has an audience which you can uh, um, debate with, where you can contribute with something. And where to publish? There are so many different journals and everything uh, to publish in, of course, and not only journals, special issues of journals, conference proceedings. I am taking up ELTA here. It's a conference actually that I am organizing in KL next year, together with two colleagues of me. <coughs> the conference will not be in Sweden because the conference is about Asia. So it would be very strange to have the conference in Sweden. Uh, the conference is called ELTA. It means exploring leadership and learning theory in Asia. We are questioning the take it for granted assumption, uh, which is very, very uh, mainstream in research in those areas, that theories are universally applicable. The Western theories developed in UK, US, and even sometimes in Sweden, they are supposed to be to be able, you could um, apply them anywhere in the world. Is this really true, or is it that you have to adapt those theories to the Asian context, or Asian contexts, I should say? Or is it that they are not valid at all, those theories? Is it rather that you have to build leadership and learning theories on Asian philosophy? Uh, perhaps the Quran, etc., etc. This is what this conference is about. And if you have something interesting to say about this, you are very welcome to submit a paper. You find us if you search for ELTA, E L L T A, on the web, you will find uh, our homepage. And that's a very good opportunity to publish. We have lots of journals uh, who have been interested to publish work from the conference. So that's a very good uh, opportunity to publish. And the conference will be somewhere in KL, so it will be next door for, for many of you. <coughs> and there are, of course, also edited books, working paper series, etc. And uh, you can, of course, argue uh, what is publications and what is not. But, but the, the main thing here, uh, which I uh, would like you to consider, is that there are so many different, there is such a huge variety of publication possibilities and you have to have some kind of strategy. What is it? Why do you want to publish? And where should I then publish this? Should you publish it in a, an English journal or a, here I got the language right? Yes, correct. <coughs> Malay? Yes. yes. Uh, uh, I mean, these are also publications, of course. And if you want to publish, but perhaps some of you want to publish in very highly ranked journals. And then you have to think, okay, what do I have to do then? And there are worldwide journals in, in my area, excuse me, for, for instance, a journal called Organization, cover organization theory in all over, all over the world. And there are, um, more uh, local or regional journals like uh, Asian Pacific uh, Journal of Management, for instance. And there is probably a journal called Malaysian Management Journal, perhaps. Okay. Uh, and also to consider the subject, of course. Should you go for the wider subject, or should you be very more specific? And, uh, and the, of course, the publication quality. So this is to, to have a thought about what is it, is it that I want to accomplish? Why do I want to publish? Where should I publish them? And should I do it alone? Or should I do it together with someone? Which are the advantages and the disadvantages with those two choices? Myself, I have published most of my work alone. I have missed a partner to cry with when I get feedback from the reviewers who could support me.
But I had also had the, the opportunity to decide everything myself. So it's pros and cons, of course. And when to publish? Do you want, for those of you who are forced to publish but don't get any money for it, you should uh, probably uh, put as little effort as possible into the work and try to publish as soon as possible. But you could, on the other hand, also wait until the work is absolutely perfect. What happens with me often is that I start to send the work I think is absolutely fantastic. I send it to the best journal that is in this area. And then I, <laughs> let's say, it's rejected. But you have to think about this if you want to improve it. And I improve it. And I send it to the next best journal. <laughs> and then they say that it's reactive. And they say that you have to consider these things. And I slowly come down to a not so highly ranked journal. And then the paper is very good because I have improved it all the time. So then I could take it up here again. But I think, no, I can't do that, can I? Because they reacted it. So then an extremely good paper is published in a very low ranked journal. Not so brilliant, is it? So uh, I, and I am sharing this with you to, to get some kind of, you have some, to have some kind of tactic or strategy to where should you publish it, how should you, where should you start, etc. Uh, who could help? Because there is help to get active. Colleagues, all people at the universities have colleagues, of course. You could ask them, you could ask them to, to uh, review your paper for you before you submit it. And then you don't run the risk, the same risk to be rejected, rejected, rejected. If you start with your own colleagues and then you can send to uh, uh, an expert in the field in Sweden or wherever, perhaps, could you please have a look at my paper? Some don't have the time, but some could help you. Uh, I, do we have a microphone? Please. Thank you. Uh, I'm not so sure whether this is the right time to ask this question, but you mentioned earlier that uh, if you have a good piece of paper, not piece of paper, if you have a good article or so, you should be aiming for good, high quality journal. Now, in, in your case, and in the case of your country, Sweden, uh, what language would they use for good publication? And uh, would they be looking outside the country or just Swedish uh, language alone? What percentage, I wonder, academics, would you? Yes, uh, I can, uh, most, all, all my uh, academic work, except textbooks, I publish in English. So I have the same difficulties as you have with the language. And I am struggling get all journals, all the world journals, to start to publish only in Swedish instead. Would, would that be the same with other Swedish academics, English? Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, I think 99% of all academic work uh, is published in uh, English. In there are Swedish journals but they are not very highly ranked. And to get some kind of international recognition, and that is what most scholars want to have, <coughs> you need to publish in English. What about uh, other European countries? It's the same. 